improving the new phone mount system in my Toyota Tacoma. Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. That's right, I'm going to be improving the phone mount system in my Toyota Tacoma back here. Recently I had put up a video about this DMM system, the dash multi-mount system that I installed in my Tacoma back here and I was unhappy with one of the mounts. Particularly, and I know it's a little dark out here right now, but the one right over there, the bigger one on the far side, uh, just didn't hold the phone the way that I want to for my purposes. So, I got something else. It's another magnetic mount, actually. I'll take you guys over here and uh, we'll get this out of the package real quick. You can see what I mean. Uh, what I got is right down here, get you guys set up there, right here in this package. Take it out of here. Yeah, I've already opened it. Um, a few pieces in here. Again, this comes from uh, the Taco Garage, in case you're interested in this. Um, this is a magnetic base, I guess, which is here. And then there's some plates you can see here that you put on the back of your phone. Uh, just like, there you go, just like this. And then you secure the holder uh, here, all of these pieces and parts, to the system in the truck. Now, before we get into the install, there is one little mod I need to make to the uh, magnetic base here itself. And what you can see is a lot of chrome around the edges, right? The silver, anyway. Um, we're going to go ahead and black that out. Uh, for me, it's quite simple. I'm just using a Sharpie marker. I'm going to color it, if you will. Okay, got it all colored, you guys can see. You won't even be able to see anything except for the front. Uh, when it's on the uh, holder in there. So we're going to pull the truck out now, get some light in there, and go ahead and install this, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, got the truck outside and the light now, so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, just real quick, let me show you why I'm doing this. I've got the phone set up there now, you guys can see. A um, couple of things here. One, I need to move this mount over because I'm pretty close to the steering wheel. I'm afraid I'll whip my hand up here and or off of the wheel and knock the phone off. So I want to move it that way right a little bit, uh, which is okay because there's lots of positions to put it in. And then this mount, I put it on there so I could put my phone on and be able to film in front of the truck. Now, what you can see here is obviously you can get some of the mount in there, number one, uh, unless you mount it up higher, but then you're not going to have uh, the same holding power because this is really meant um, to go sideways. I have it positioned this way, but it's really meant to go this way and have the phone sit like this. Now, the problem with that is, is I won't get a full screen shot. Um, I'll only get a shot like that, which isn't what I want. I want something like that. So, that's why I'm removing this, and it's not the steadiest thing in the world either. I mean, you can see here, uh, it kind of bounces around a little bit. It's not the most stable in this position. Would work fine the other way, whereas this one is rock solid. I mean, it doesn't move at all. So, we're going to take this one off. We're going to put the head, if you will, the magnetic base part here on and uh, probably move this over a little bit. Okay, let's get started here. First of all, let's go ahead and remove this one. You just have to twist the little thumb screw here. Um, and then we can go ahead and pull this part off. And actually, we don't even need to pull the bottom part off. We just need to pull this out, uh, which you can see. And that's another thing with this. It only slides in through these little brackets here. And they, they come out pretty easily. So, again, not very stable. Let's pull that off. And then this, we only need to remove this top piece here, which we should be able to do, if I can get it off, uh, by loosening it there. And that should pull it off of the end of the ball there, in theory. Let's see if we can make that happen. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and pull it all off. There we go. And then we should be able to, I believe, just pull this off. Uh, let's see if we can get it out of there. It does fit pretty... No, that's not too bad. There, and then we'll just set this aside. Uh, to go with uh, the other one. 
There we go. And I may sell this thing. If anybody's interested in this, has the system and likes this or has a use for it, uh, let me know. I may sell it if anybody's interested. Okay, so now let's uh, let's just put that back in to stabilize it. Well, actually, take that back. We have to move the ball, so we'll take it all the way off. Now, for this, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the ball all the way over here um, on the far right. Uh, because I think that will get it over where it's out of the way and still able to focus on the front of the truck. That is done with a Allen key or an Allen wrench. There's just a screw inside there. Uh, let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. I should be able to just screw that off. I did put it in rather tightly, uh, but you can see there it comes off pretty easy. There we go. And then I'm going to move this over to the furthest bracket here. So I'm just going to crank it on like that. So that moves that one over. Now, this one, I'm going to move over, I think, probably there's a screw here and there's a screw hole here where I could put it in either position. Um, I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get it out of there there so I could put it here uh, that would get the phone uh, let's see pretty far away I mean if I put it right there the phone's gonna be about there probably in that position still clears the screen uh, so that it's not blocking my screen here and still able to shoot um, on myself I guess uh, for video that I want to get I could put it over here but then it's gonna be maybe a little bit in the way of that one uh, or over here, and that would probably work actually, but I think um, I think I'm going to be happy with it right there. If I do it there, I'm pretty far away from the steering wheel, so I think I'd be okay. All right, let's make sure I have the camera at the right angle. And that's where I'll be. You guys can see the picture, so that's the picture that we're going to have. I think that's pretty good. Gives me enough room here so that I'm not going to hit it. Still can see the full screen, so I'm not blocking the screen. And I know from your angle it might look like it because it's pointing down, but the full screen is visible to me. And it's still below hood level, so I'm not looking. It's not blocking or obstructing my view at all because I can see over it across the hood. If anything, the hood blocks my view, and this does not. So I'm going to go ahead, tighten this one down, and then uh, I'll show you what it is I'm looking to do with the other one. Okay, got the other one placed on there. That's what it's going to look like. So that's what they are, the view is, I guess, when they're not on. And you notice I do have them both pointing at the top because I'm a little weird. Uh, but I want to get that uh, front-facing view. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera on there so I can decide what is the best view for me. Okay, got it all done, got it all mounted. Here are the two views that you're going to get. The view of the camera facing me and the view of the camera front facing forward. I think it came out pretty well. I, I like the positions that it's in right now. Um, again, here's me. Uh, this is where it's going to be when, uh, when I'm filming or talking to you guys. Um, and over here is where it will be uh, when it's facing front forward um, for shots driving and stuff like that. So I think it came out pretty good. Uh, this is what it looks like with nothing up there, of course. So that's the view you'll have um, with the mounts up there with nothing there. This one is definitely below the hood. I mean, probably right here is my eye level, and you can see it's below the hood. This one does protrude up a little bit, um, but it's below the other one that I had on here for sure. So nothing too obstructive. I think uh, I think it'll be good. Anyway, that uh, that's my little install um, of the magnetic mount uh, for the dash multi mount system. Uh, pretty cool. I like it. I'm digging it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave a link down or leave a link. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, do you have it? Do you like it? I think it's awesome. I think for somebody like me who does what I do. Uh, it works out perfectly. Holds the camera nice and steady 
and uh, keeps it out of my view as much as possible anyway. Also, real quick, shameless plug, if you're interested and you haven't before, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.